Hello, and welcome back. Today, I have an exciting new video generator to introduce. It's called Hi Lu Aw AI, created by the Chinese startup Minimax. This tool produces high quality AI videos, and the best part? It's currently free to use. To access it, go to hiilua.com. The site is in Chinese, but you can easily translate it into your preferred language. Several tools are available, including a music generator and a chat bot similar to ChatGPT. For this video, I'll focus on the video generator. You don't need an account to use it, but you will need one to access the other tools. You need to use a mobile number, and it doesn't have to be a Chinese phone number. Let's start by looking at the featured videos. If you click on a video, you can see the prompt used to generate it and even copy it to try for yourself. You can also download the video if you like. Now, here's the interface where you'll enter your prompt. It's simple and user-friendly, but unlike other generators like Kling, it lacks advanced settings. No aspect ratio adjustments, camera movement controls, or image to video. I'll begin by using some of the same prompts I used in this video featuring Kling. First up, let's recreate the basketball player dunking. Your generated videos can be found under the Mine tab. In my experience, it takes about five minutes for a video to render, and each one is five seconds long. For the next one, I'll create a video of a woman drinking coffee at an outdoor cafe. However, it seems you have to wait for one video to finish generating before you can start another. Now that the basketball video is ready, let's compare it to Kling's version on the left. Personally, I think the Kling video is more accurate and detailed, though neither is perfect. Before viewing the coffee video, let's generate one of a sophisticated dog eating a hamburger. Now here's the coffee video, and I think Hai Lua wins this round. The woman looks great and the setting is spot on. Both videos are accurate, but Hai Lua's attention to detail stands out here. Now here are a few more videos I created using both generators. Let me know in the comments which ones you think are better. Sometimes you might encounter an error and the video won't generate, like when I use this prompt featuring three anime characters walking through a destroyed city. I had to modify the prompt by removing the part where one of the characters was slashing through the city with a sword, and after that, it worked. This suggests the generator has some level of censorship. Here's the result, and it's impressive, definitely capturing the anime style. In comparison, Kling's version is less impressive, leaning more toward a realistic style, and the characters are distorted. I used standard mode, but professional mode might yield better results. Now, let's look at another anime video from both platforms. Both are great, but the high LUA characters remind me more of Dragon Ball Z. However, I prefer the fighting motion and power hits in the Kling version. I'd call this one a tie. I also tried creating Pixar-style videos. The first is a dog playing in a park. The high Lua version is fantastic, great style and animation. Kling's version is okay, with a moving background, but high Lua wins for its overall quality. However, I could see using Kling's version for content aimed at younger children. 
Next, I created a video of a girl riding a bike in a park. Hi Lua's version is impressive. The background moves, though the girl's feet don't pedal. Kling's version shows her pedaling, but I prefer the Hi Lua video for its cartoonish style, animation, and the girl's happy expression. I was curious to test text rendering with these generators. Hi Lua almost got the text right with just one wrong letter, but the style and explosion effects weren't great. Kling struggled with the text but nailed the explosion animation. I'd give this round to Hi Lua for text accuracy, and I might get a better style with a more creative prompt. Lastly, let's test if we can prompt specific camera movements. I'll start with a simple prompt of a volcano erupting. As you can see, the camera is panning. Now, I'll try adjusting it so the camera starts at the base of the volcano and slowly moves upward. The result looks good, but the camera is not moving from the base up. Let's try modifying the prompt by specifying the camera movement first. This time, it mostly worked. It didn't start exactly at the base, but it did begin in front of it and moved up to show the eruption as I asked. You can also request close-ups, like in this video. Next, I tried a more complex camera movement that starts at the top of the volcano, then moves down to the base while zooming out. Here's the result. While it did start at the top, the camera moved up instead, revealing more of the background. Here's what I was really aiming for. I created this video in Kling, using a simple volcano eruption prompt combined with the move down and zoom out master shot camera control. The incorrect result in Hao might have been due to my prompt. After experimenting with Hai Lue AI, I'm genuinely impressed, especially with its anime and Pixar style videos. While I wish it had more features like Kling, such as image-to-video, camera controls, and aspect ratio options, the fact that it's free and seemingly unlimited makes it a must-try. I'd recommend giving it a go soon as you never know when the free access might end. Please share your comments below and let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.